our first road trip in the van. Oh. <laughs> Having so much fun, though. Yeah, party in the van. Party in the van. Maybe some money. Oh, oh, that's your wallet. <laughs> he loves rolling around. All right, guys, welcome back. So this is a little series that we're gonna call Toby Goes West. And we are gonna take our first official road trip in the van. Yes. For this trip, we are going all the way west. It's gonna be fun. So a little bit about this trip. For this trip, it's been like a two month long process of getting here because I've had to call every state to figure out what we need for Toby, if we need permits, if we need health certificate, if we need any rules and regulations. So this has actually been a long process to get here. And some needed import permits, some needed export permits. Some didn't care, they said, come have fun. We wanted to make sure we're doing this correctly so Toby can experience life. He can experience stuff besides being stuck in Florida. And this is my little family. And, we're going and hopefully on this trip, we're going to show you new scenery and really cool wildlife from other places. <laughs> Don't forget before we go on this trek to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button so you can see every episode, every state and what goes on on this trip. You guys ready to get started? Let's yes. go. So good morning. Uh, we slept in the mountains last night and uh, today we woke up to absolutely beautiful view. And today we're gonna do some hiking up in these mountains. It's one of the first days that we really get to like settle down and hang out. So I'm pretty excited and uh, we're gonna go see what we can find. Let's go. He wants to get on you because he's lazy. I always find it hard to capture the beauty of scenery in video, but Spikes don't have that good of video skills. Hey guys, you're filming me as I'm filming you. Toby's holding your soda. Having fun. So have you taken selfies? Oh, we got a bike going. All right, so um, we are heading out for the night. We're gonna do a little bit of cruising, and then we are going to uh, do some night hiking tonight, shine some washes. Let's do it. How are your boils doing? Let's check on the boils. Gross. All right, take this. Saw somebody crossing. Little bandy gecko, we're gonna help him out of the road. Come here. 
So cool. Look like little bitty leopard geckos. And they're quite common out here. He pooped on me. Wow. Continue on your trek. Juicy little toad. All right, buddy. Get you out of the road. I know the road's a fun place when you're a little toad, but stay out of it. All right, guys. First snake of the night should be nothing other than a Western Dimeback rattlesnake. We need at least one to 10 of these a night. This is a this year's baby. And just soak it up some heat and we'll move them across and go see if we can find anything else tonight. Another Dimeback. All right, let's keep keep it on. Don't worry guys, it's another baby Diamondback. We didn't film the last three or four we saw because uh, traffic was coming, but there's no traffic out. So we're gonna scoot him out of the road. There you go. Don't play in the road, kid. Stay out, go. Can I have a bite? Can I have one? No. Oh, I can bite a wrist instead? Okay, we can have a hug? Okay. His emotions are exhausting. I know. One second he's like throwing things at me, the next second he wants hugs. Okay, another hug? Okay. We're having a Rhett and Taylor fight because, ready for this? I'm taking too much time looking at trees for stuff and Taylor yells, Rhett, snake, over right here at this bush. And so I ran over thinking there was a snake and she goes, ha ha. And then I was like, what? You don't do that. Like that's Rhett a- literally that's just a, tried to break up with me because- That's a big no-no. That's like, I, I that's the most- Frank. And I was super upset about it, which sounds petty, but you just don't, you don't do that. And I'm sitting here complaining to her and I look and there's a freaking snake. There's a, there's a diamond back right next to where she had done that. I told you there's a snake. I wasn't lying to you. I never would do that. So technically there was a snake curled up along the trail. It's so cool how they just like cow pie like that. <laughs> Red, don't forget, watch out for coyotes. I know. Toby's a delicious little coyote snack. We've seen so, quite a few coyotes this trip. All in like the neighborhood. I know, we don't see them while we're hiking out in the natural habitat. Would you rather choose mosquitoes or these moths? Wow, guys, this is a beautiful wash. Look at all these holes. This is just so fun. Bro, look at my headlamp from Toby. Oh my gosh, Toby. Why are you the destruction of everything? We have another headlamp in there, a backup that you can use. Your mom's gonna be like, a backup headlamp, of course. Red has a backup to a backup to a backup of everything. You know, it's funny, I told Taylor uh, on the way out here, don't worry, even if you don't see the snakes out west, they're gonna rattle you and you'll be able to hear them. Not a single snake has rattled us before we saw it. No. I'm sorry, I'm a liar and I let you down. Babe, you found an awesome wash. He's like token. going crazy over bugs. So we go over here. Mm -hmm. That goes running through the bushes over here. No, tiger, tiger rattlesnake. I brought you over to it. Yeah, you did. Here, you want to hold the camera and I'll get it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tobe, chill. It's a bug. Tobe, chill. They're bugs. They're I wonder just... if I heard his. I wonder if he buzzed up. And I heard that All right, where are you at? I'm gonna get him over here in the open. All right guys, so this was our target tonight, was a tiger rattlesnake, and I am so excited. This is only the second tiger rattlesnake we've ever seen. Something neat about the tiger rattlesnake, if you notice, they have really thick bodies and kind of funny proportionate teeny tiny little heads. Now, the reason for this is because they feed off of rodents and little lizards down and around the rocks, and they stick their head in the rocks to catch and retrieve the prey items. And something else really cool about the tiger rattlesnakes, they are actually considered the second most toxic snake in the United States, just after the Mojave rattlesnake. And despite having very toxic venom, they actually have a very low venom yield. And this could correlate to the size of their head. Uh, so despite being toxic, there are very few recorded uh, bites and there's actually no recorded fatalities from tiger rattlesnakes. The infrequent bites that occur with humans have all been very mild envenomation. How happy are you, Rhett? Babe, I'm super happy. And you know what this marks? Every single night, we've got a different species of rattlesnake. I know, is that fun? And this, these guys are one of my top targets. So I love, love tigers. And this makes up for the dead tiger. <laughs> oh, hey buddy. All right guys, something very, very important here, especially for people that go field herping. When you find a snake, always put it back 
exact exactly where you find it. Don't take it 100 yards down the road to another area, especially these desert species. It's very, very important to put them exactly where you found them so they can go back to their little hole, their little house. Thank you, Tiger Rattlesnake. Hopefully, you're gonna live a long, happy life out here in the desert. All right, Tay, let's go check out your wash. For those that have never experienced the Choya cactus, these things are horrendous. I'll post a picture of a Choya that Taylor bumped into years ago and it's stuck in there. You walk by and these cactuses will leap over and stick into you, it's wild. Oh my gosh, the bees are swarming me. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but I am swarmed with bugs every time I turn my lights on. Oh yeah, Tay. I spotted one. You spotted one. We're looking at these rocks. Taylor's like, wow, look at these beautiful rocks. And he goes, look, tiger, right? What's with you and rattlesnakes and trails? See, I can't hike them curled up when they're moving. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a huge tiger. Holy smokes. Gorgeous tiger. Bee. A tiger popped up, dude. Oh, ah, this I, I gotta turn this light off soon. But here. See that's a gorgeous tiger. Oh, you don't like that one? Oh, oh my god. Like, do you see I'm getting mauled by bees. Maybe I'll try and change the color of the light. Alright guys, every time I turn on the light panel, we get mobbed by bugs. So I'm gonna try and get some video of this gorgeous tiger. Wow, this Tay, this is the prettiest tiger ever. Look how great he camouflages. And the cool thing about it is, every place you go here in the mountains, the snakes change colors to the rocks. Two tigers, one night. How awesome. What an epic last night in this area. Delicate little flower. Heard a bee, and now every time we hear a bee, earlier we were saying there's going to be a tiger. And at this exact spot, we heard a bee, we stopped, we looked around, no tigers, we're walking back. And also, this is the first one to buzz us before we saw it. Another nice sized tiger, and this one's a beautiful pink tiger. Oh wow, it's really pink on the back. Tiger number three. What an awesome night, guys. And a beautiful tiger at that. Great, I was going to say great spot, but he buzzed us. I don't care. I, I still knew he was going to be here. I know. It's How crazy is that? And like here you are like, oh, Rhett, you get all like about rules and this and that. Here you are. Listen to bees. All right, buddy. Thanks for gracing us with your presence. Uh, it was great. We will uh, keep hiking. All right, so as much fun as the wash walking has been, Toby has decided he no longer likes the heat and he's crying to get back in the air conditioning. Super Diva Toby strikes again. <laughs> Do we have a grumpy Toby, man? Yeah. I mean, there was a long hike he lasted, it I was. think. It's it not great. that hot, but... He did great. For a monkey, oh. I think he's pretty adventurous. All right, we got we got him back in the car. <laughs> Toby's still nuts. Okay, Toby. That's why he wanted to get back to the car. Nuts? Oh, double fisting. Double okay, fisting. all right. So that was an epic hike. We just found three tiger rattlesnakes, which were a big target for this trip. Uh, we're gonna head in. We're gonna call an early night. It's only about 1 a.m. Uh, we need to get some sleep because we're gonna start traveling tomorrow. But uh, we hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today. And stick around for tomorrow's adventure. All right, guys. We'll see you uh, tomorrow.